Well, hello everyone. How you doing? Welcome back into another UPI TGC gameplay with the leader featuring Marco the Phoenix. Now, without any further delays, let's dive in straight away into the deck and then we'll play a few matches. Uh, however, Pre explaining the current version of the deck, I would like to show you to everybody that I already made a gameplay with Marco with a different version, which was version 1, and there were different cards than the current deck I'm running. So as you can see, there is Dragon, maybe there is uh, Blocker Ace from Opio 7, uh, more event cards, etc. So if you're interested, please, I will be leaving the link in the description. Feel free to go and see the version of the deck. It was kind of fun to play with this leader as well. However, let me look back version 2. There you go. Um, I decided to make another gameplay with this leader because if you're not aware of it, between Opio 8 and Opio 9, uh, there were new starter deck which came out and there were new cards which complement extremely, extremely well with the Whitebeard Pirate cards. Now, let me explain you what this leader does uh, for whoever is not aware of it. It's a multicolor leader, red and blue. Beast power is 5000. It starts with four lives and his effect consists in, in the following. I can attach one down to him, then I can draw one card and I can place one card from my hand to the top or bottom of my deck. Then I can give up to one more opponent characters minus 2000 power for the turn. Then, I'm running Otama because it's a, it has a counter of 2000, plus it, on play, I can give uh, to one of my opponent characters minus 2000 base power for the turn. I'm running Newgate, uh, 9 cost, 10,000 base power, so on play, it will boost up my marker to 7000 until the start of my next turn. And also, the second effect this uh, character has, if it has 2 down attached to it, it can KO up to one of my opponent characters with a base power of 3000 or less. So as you can see, it complements really well with the leader's effect. I'm running Jozu, only as a, a counter for 2000, nothing more, nothing less. Marco the blocker, and on KO, if I have uh, 2 life or less, I can play this character rested from my trash, and I have to trash one card with the white beard type from my hand. It's kind of give it or take, there you go, plus it has 1000 uh, of counter. Now, I'm running also another Marco character, however, I don't get to play him a lot because I get the new cards which I came out and are much, much more valuable than that, so I might gonna replace him with uh, Ace. I'm gonna talk about this Ace in a bit. So, wh for whoever is not aware, uh, on play, I can KO up to one more open character with a base power of 3000 or less, and on KO, I can trash one event card from my hand, and I can play this card from my trash rested. So it just goes and comes, in case I need him. I'm running only one really, and this card is really good, however, I realized that I don't get to play him a lot, because I'm uh, I get to play more with uh, uh, Sanji and Newgate combination, or the new Newgate uh, Whitebeard combination. I'll, I'll talk about it in a bit. Now, really, on play, I can choose two of my opponent characters, I can give one of them minus 3000, the other one minus 2000 base power, after that I can KO one of my opponent characters with a base power of 3000 or less. Okay, and as you can see, you can see the combination and the compliments are coming out from our leader's effect as well. And now, our superstar from starting deck 15. The new Newgate, or Whitebeard, however you prefer, is a cost 7, on play, give up to one of your leader, or character, one rested on. There you go. Therefore, I can use Marco's effect immediately, free of charge, on my 7 down turn. And then I can give minus 2000 base power to one of my opponent character, and then I can rest this character and KO up to one of my opponent character with a base power of 5000 or less. So, as you can see, it, they complement each other in different ways. Then, I'm running touch, only as a counter of 2000. I really, really, really don't want to use this uh, on play effect because it's kind of annoying. Because uh, on play, I can just give uh, up to one of my opponent character minus 2000, same as Otama, however, I get to lose a life. So, it doesn't make much, much of a value what Otama does. And now, we have another card from starting deck 15, it's Ace. So, if my leader uh, is uh, Whitebeard type, then, then it's been rush. Also, once per turn, if this character will be removed from play by one of my opponent's effect, instead I can give him minus 2000 power. And believe me, it's extremely, extremely valuable. So, imagine an attack, and my opponent gets a gravity blade, this character will not be removed. And in my opponent's turn, if he tries to remove it with any effect, same, I can just go and give him minus 2000 and I'm gonna keep him full, with a base power of 4000, which means my opponent has to attack or use another event card to remove that. Then, I'm running Donkey Hope Zone Bingo, it's a blocker, but also on play, I can look at the top 5 cards of my deck and reshuffle it and either replace them on the replay there. Replace them, sorry, either on the top of my deck in any order of my preferences or on the bottom of my deck in case I don't like it. And believe me, with Doofy, I can sort of set up Sanji and uh, Newgate, or the other Newgate, really, Ace, whatever, honestly. I can even uh, replace it with Pudding because this card is a superstar for me. On play, my opponent returns all the cards in his hand, he shuffles the deck, and then he draws only five cards. Therefore, it changes the strategy of my opponent drastically every, every, every time. Sanji is a cost of nine, and on play, reveal the top card of my deck. If it, if it is a character with a cost of nine or less, I can play that active, which means if I manage to sort it out with Doofy or with the leader's effect, actually, I can just play out Sanji with Newgate, really, or the new Newgate or Whitebeard. Then I'm running Buggy. It's uh, it has a counter of 2000, and also it's same as um, Doofy. However, I can just get to see three, the top three cards and sort them out. So it's pretty much uh, give it or take which one I prefer to play. And now it's time for the event cards. Radical Beam. Now it's a counter which will give me plus 2000 power for the battle. However, if I have two life or less, it's gonna give me an additional 2000 power, which means my leader can go up to 9000 power base power just to counter an attack. I'm running Five Fist, so I can discard one event card from my hand, and I can kill two of my opponent character with a base power of 5000 or less. Um, sorry, one with the base power of 5000 or less, and one with the base power of 4000 or less. And as you can see with Marco, it, it can be made possible. Plus, I got this new new gate. Come on, it's crazy. Now, the cost event, Bad Monarchy Course, it just, I can trash one card from my hand and give up to one of my leader character plus 3000 power for the battle. Sanji Spill Up, it just draw two extra cards, and Gravity Blade Radiant Tiger, so I can just place two characters with a cost of 6 or less at the bottom of the owner deck. Now, that's pretty much it for the deck. Enough talking, guys. Let's 
dive in, let's play some games, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are playing against Carrot. Uh, let's just send our turn at the moment because we're doing okay, and Carrot can just attack it like, okay, great, let's take that, let's see what we got. No, we can only use the effect, and wow, we got a really, really, really good upcoming card. So, first of all, Sanji's Pilaf, let's roll one card, let's place at the bottom of my deck one of the Sanji, choose zero enemy, and we go six to life. Great, great, great. So, our opponent has eight cards in the hand, which means next one, either I can pop it, whatever he plays, I can pop it with uh, Marco, but there is no need at the moment, so you're just getting back three dots. And we again aggressively plead towards life. No, I need to start to cut her out. Two and two more. So I won't be playing Marco, which is fine. Which is fine because look, seven cards in your hand. Let me put in you. And then we can just go. Let's draw. Let's place on the bottom of my deck one of the zero cost seven card. Choose zero enemy and let's go like seven to life. Great, so I'm a six. Therefore, I need to find either another new gate or a rally. I'm not even going to rally in this deck anyway, so I'm not hoping for that. Now, you're back with seven cards in your hand, which is okay. However, I change your whole, whole, whole strategy. It could be that you have only blanks now. It could be that you have two more so in your hand. Okay, Wanda. So he's going for the search. And let me see. Okay, Pedro. And you can on Kyo. You can Kyo one of your opponent character with the cost of rested character with the cost of six or less. Okay. Uh, Nikomamushis. So let me see. Seven, sure. Which means Nikomamushis is getting rush. And I got a counter it out as well. Seven to life. Let's try to take that. No gravity blade. Unfortunate. I'm going to attack with Nico. Mmm, it was a silly, silly mistake, my friend. Now, I'm going to play our new grid. Let's play, let's give one note to Marco. Let's draw one card. Let's place back on the top of my uh, deck. Mm, really, why not? But let's do to him. And then that's it. Say goodbye to Neko Mamushi, and we're gonna go 5 and 6 to life. I should have kept one down active for my radical beam, but now my board is getting bigger and bigger. And my opponent has to respect my board as well. And I got the zero cost event ready to go. Ooh, okay, okay, Carrot. Ooh, you're keeping my new get freeze. However, you can just attack with uh, Carrot at the moment. With two dots, okay. So I just got to use the zero cost event. No, it's zero, and the Sajis Pilaf should be good to go. Great, so I should be able, I should be able to pop resident as well, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's roll one card. Uh, let me think if I give my two to him. No, it's not gonna be worth it. Let's place back on top, really. Let's give minus two to Rosirante. So you gotta go to six, really wanna give minus two. Okay, we can play with that. Uh, let's go Sanji, really. Three, two, and that. Say goodbye to that card, and we're gonna go six to life. Now Carrot is a 4k, which is okay for me, because I can start to uh, I can pop in next turn anyway. Obviously, if she keeps my new get uh, blocked, I got Marco ready to go, but I have to uh, change it up with Otama. Other than that, I got Fair Feast, which I can trash my radical beam. And I can just kill. Ooh, double blocker. Okay, we take that. How about I gonna kill Carrot because she brings more danger than anyone else? Great okay, three dots. Uh, seven to life. Keeping my uh, leader frozen. Let's take that. Let's see another new gate. Ooh, that was unfortunate for you. Uh, I can give you two K then. That was kind of unfortunate. So, uh, okay, so you can reset it up. That's not a problem. However, I just gonna use uh, my leaders. Give one down to him. Let's roll a card. Let's place on the bottom. Hmm, they're all valuable. This one then. Minus two to you. Say goodbye to your Carrot. At least I can start to send up my board. Then I gotta go. Night to life. Obviously, I should have gone uh, with the lowest seeds. Yep, yeah, none of them are cost six or less. Let's go one more time. Mm, let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, uh, I gotta go five to life. At least you're gonna force a card from your hand. We're gonna go eight to life, which is gonna give me the blocker, and you can pop my pudding, which is fine. Ooh, you're resting one of my dots. Okay, okay, I take that. So I got, let me see. It's gonna be almost impossible for my opponent to win anyway. With Ten dots. Maybe you can play out a doofy, but it's not gonna be enough. So 9, and he's gonna put everything there. So 6, 7, he's gonna go to 8, 2, yeah, take the hit, let's take that. Putting that's perfect, that's the exact right amount of counter which I needed. Nego Mamushi is not gonna be enough because he's just gonna go to 8. Okay, great, so let's give you 2, I can give you this, this, and that should be good. I'm gonna counter out with everything, but that's game, buddy. Let me see, yeah, I think putting managed to mess up my opponent hand, especially with this zone. Okay, we're great stuff, let's go for another matchup then. Okay, so we are playing against Dr. Vegapunk, the smartest man in the world. Now, it's gonna be an interesting matchup due to the fact that Vegapunk can be tricky as well to deal with. Uh, let's use the leader's effect anyway, let me see. Okay, Sugar. However, we're gonna need to get very, very soon, so we're just gonna leave it on top, choose your enemy, and let's end our turn. Now, um, I wonder if you're gonna play Shaka or Lilith at the moment. However, he can just place one card in the life or one card into play. I wonder why he didn't use the leader's effect earlier on, because I would have put something into life area. But that's okay, at least it's towards our advantage anyway. So, we're gonna go to Brazil with Marco, which is great. And using the event cards just to draw, let me see, who you're looking for? Luffy! Okay, great, great. So I believe we have to just pass the turn now. Okay, great. We get back Newgate. First thing first, let's use the leader's effect. Let's place back on top Newgate because for the time being we're gonna need him. Choose our enemy and we're gonna go six to life. And then we're gonna use Sanji's Pilaf just to draw two more cards. So let's see. Yeah, you have to give me two, 2k from your hand or you have to just carry Runami or get it back in your hand anyway. Okay, great. So let's go with Pilaf. Double card. That's great. Now whatever he starts to develop on his board by my seventh turn turn, uh, Either I'm gonna play on Gravity Blade or Newgate, depending how the matchup goes. Because obviously Newgate will bring a lot, a lot, a lot of value in these matchups. Especially against Megapunk, because you're gonna keep drawing cards now. 
looks like my product doesn't have anything yet, which is okay. We can survive with that. Um, okay, so I can do the same. Let's try to draw one card. At least we're gonna fix our hand. Ooh, ace. Uh, let's place back on top. Uh, new gate for the time being. Two zero enemy, and then we're gonna go six and six again to life. So at least we're gonna force card out of our opponent hand. Let's see. Yeah, you can just draw two cards, which is fine. Let's go with ace. Let's go six to life. And this card is brilliant because if my opponent wants to pop it, it will be difficult. He doesn't have any rush here except NL and Ace. Or maybe Yamato, we don't know yet. Okay, 6 and 7, 2 cards, that's great. Now, I wonder if he runs the event card which can help him to, help him to get Shaka back. We'll see. Okay, now I'm sure. Uh, Shaka, okay. We can pop Shaka easily with Newgate and play around that. So, let's think how to play around this one. Mm, Newgate first. Or Nami, mean, it doesn't really matter honestly. So let's go with Newgate. Let's give one uh, down to Marco. Let's throw one card. Let's send uh, on the bottom. I believe uh, Marco because I don't want to use him anymore. So let's get rid of the blocker and then let's go six to life. Now he can give me two K, but Nami's effect is not going to be valid because uh, um, he's going to be KO'd. But instead he can just get minus two K. Yeah, looks like my opponent decided to use that, but it's not going to bring any value against Ace. And then we're going to go seven to life, which we're going to force more cards from our opponent hand. I uh, use a card action. They go minus two K. He cannot be KO'd so easily. Sorry for that. And save it to life. I believe you're forced to take that at the moment. Maybe if you get another Nami trigger, then you can pop my ace. Mm, let's see. Okay, this is to take that. Is it a trigger or not? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, now it makes sense. You can do it now. Uh, Raigo. Interesting. I've never seen Pegamon running Raigo, but it can be valuable actually. If you think about it, you can use Raigo, pop my new gate. I would have kept it honestly just to pop my new gate, but that's fine anyway. And looks like you're gonna just send a new gate to the bottom of my deck. That's fine, that's fine. And placing something on the top? Maybe, maybe not, we don't know, let's see. Okay, Shaka, sure. So, it will be tricky to play around that, but I should be able to KO Shaka and Katakuri together. However, let's place new gate. And let's go. Uh, let's use the little effect. Mm, I won't need the mark anymore, so let's send him on the bottom of the deck. And I can go for an 8k hit to life. Okay, yeah, just play down, that's fine. So let me think how to play around that one. Because I guess uh, Katakuri minus 2, so you're gonna go to 6. 2 more, you're gonna go to 4, which is fine. Then I can just destroy that with the event card. Okay, looks like a big hit is coming towards me. Let's take it. I'm really hoping for an Otama, which can bring a lot of value. Okay, let's take that. Sanji, sure. I can play with that. I can play with that, believe me. Because next card I draw, if it's a really valuable card, I can just send it on top of my deck and change it up again. And Luffy to board. Okay, you need Luffy to life. Are you gonna play anyone else? Let's see, okay, uh, I can pop both of them and then, I'll, even though I wanted to play Sanji, I should just go for the board, so, let's draw, um, I don't think I'll be needing Radical Beam at this stage of the game, but, let's send on the top of my life back Radical Beam, let's give minus 2k to Luffy, uh, Otama then, let's give minus 2k to Shaka, and then we're gonna use the event card Fire Fist, let's trash Gravity Blade, and let's KO these two bodies, now he has two cards in his hand, which means he can go up to 12k, so all I'm gonna do is just attack 12 to, uh, 8, and I believe you have nothing to you can do just protect that, then we're gonna go 6 to life, which means you can bring back Luffy and pop my Utama, but I don't know how valuable it's gonna be. And then we're gonna play Aldofi, just sort out the top 5 cards in our life area. Uh, sorry, in, what I was saying in the deck. Uh, I'll look at the Luffy honestly. Great, let's, let's start to place them on top. So we're gonna grab a Radical Beam, and then we can just play back Newgate, back to back. And I won't be needing that. Sanji either, but I can just keep the pill up here. And maybe I wanna draw Sanji and send it on the bottom of the deck then. Okay, and let's end our turn. Therefore, next turn, I, didn't, I won't even need to attach it onto myself because I can even try to go for game, but I don't know if it's gonna be worth it because my opponent already has two cards in the hand and one life area. And Newgate, with Newgate, I won't be able to pop anyone. Actually, yeah, I won't be able to pop uh, Lilith as well because if you think about it, I'm gonna chain up uh, Sanji with the new Newgate and we're we'll gonna give one down back to. Uh, how do you call that? Um, Marco, which is gonna have me to draw Sanji and I'm gonna send him on the bottom of the deck. And that's it pretty much. I'm gonna pop Lilith or. Actually, I'm gonna attack first, so you're gonna bring back a blocker, then I'm gonna chain, chain it up. Okay. So, let's go 5 to life. Let's see if he wants to take that. Actually, I should have done 10 to life. That was a silly mistake from my side, but it's fine anyway. So, who you bring back? Definitely Shaka, because he's a blocker anyway. Nami, okay, you want to pop my uh, blocker? Please be my guest. So, I'm gonna just destroy Nami one more time then. Oh, they said no go for that. Okay. So, let's go double chain up. Let's give one down to him. Let's draw one card. Let's place on the bottom of my deck, Sanji. Let's give minus 2k to whatever. And let's pop Nami. And then we can go attempt to face which is forced to take with two cards in your hand you have no more blockers it could be it's definitely a trigger but wow no trigger is it a Yamato could be Yamato can come in and pop my Doofy but how do you expect to go for the next round because I just gonna go face after that 
and definitely gonna put him in boot now. Oh, see, if he arms comes in, he can pop my Doofy and get back an extra life with Mega Man Effect, and he can try to just attack me, which I can counter out, but with full lives, I don't mind taking hits and keep uh, my hand up to date. Especially Rat Beams, he's not gonna bring me a value with full card, full life area. Okay, uh, get out to show, so my block is gone. That's fine. If you're gonna load everything and try to go for a suicidal attack to one of these two bodies, I'm not gonna let you have that, because you can just put four dots to lead it, and you need to keep one on active four. Wow, that was suicidal. Then to that, no, 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 it, it'll never happen. It's too easy to counter. And yep, yeah, our opponent already disconnected. Honestly, I would have done it differently. Uh, either I would have played out Katakuri, or I would have played out Yamato. But never get that, honestly. But yeah, it was pretty much game after that. So yeah, let's go for another match after. Okay, so we are playing against Bonnie. You know, this, this hand looks kind of right because I've, I've got a really, really good curve. Uh, let me draw one card, which I get. Ooh, let's place it back immediately on the top and choose zero enemy character and let's end my turn. Because I want to get you get, uh, get back. It's a must. Okay, looks like my opponent is running a version with supernovas. Very, very interesting to see as well. So, okay, let's draw one card. Let's place uh, hmm, on the bottom of my deck the event card. Let's give minus 2k to him and I believe I can just attach all my dons and go for a big swing, which is forced to use the block now. And, okay, you can just counter it out. That's fair. Because I got Gravity Blade, I got Pudding. There are so many strategies I can play around. I can, yeah, keep drawing cards. I really like that. Okay, yeah, another one. Keep drawing the cards you need. So Viola and Capone. Honestly, I would have run another card instead of Capone, but that's fine anyway. Because there are more valuable cards than that. So, let's take this one, I don't mind. And another blocker, sure. So, all I gotta do is just go 5 to 1. And if it doesn't go through, I just gotta play out Marco and just pop your second searcher. And from next turn, we're going to win Banana Skies. Yeah, Cavendish, he's flying outside the window, I'm telling you right now. I can gravity blade him, I can new get that, I can do many things. Um, I can do 2k, 1k, but let me take this one as well. Ooh! Even better, even better. So, let's try 6 to life first. Oh yeah, I forgot that he can just rest my Marco, but that's fine. That's fine, because what I'm gonna do is play out Newgate. Let's give one to, Mar uh, to my Marco, let's pop his blocker anyway. And let's put on the top of my deck a ace, because I want him for next turn. And let's end our full. 8 card in your hand, that's perfect, because you can, you'll be able to play out maybe 1 or 2, and then putting gonna do her magic then. And you can obviously can pop everything, I've got plenty of counter, holy jones, wow, that's, that's risky. That's extremely, extremely risky, because I'm gonna pop it next turn anyway. And you're losing a lot of cards from your hand. Uh, 5 to 5, yeah, let's take that, why not? Uh, oh, Marco's okay, I can play defensively. Uh, let's see, I uh, just need to give you two case, two is one, and one more, great. So first thing first, let's put in him, and then let's roll one card, let's place it back on top, definitely. Let's give minus two to him, and he's 6k, so he's not kable yet, but I can try just to play the hand, 6 to 6. So he has to give me the blocker. Ooh, I made a mistake, because I cannot rest him out anymore. Okay, okay, uh, let's go 6 again. I forgot about the leader's effect, I completely forgot about bonus effect. But yeah, you have to give me another card, great. Let's play, place out the blocker and let's not turn. I made a silly mistake from my side, which might cost me the game, but I got plenty of counter in my hand anyway. Another hoodie? Oh wow, he's trying to go for game then. Okay, so it's gonna be 8, 8, and 8. So, oh, that was a terrible, terrible mistake. You should have never, ever, ever done that. Okay, that's 9. And then it's gonna be 10, which I got the exact counter to go for that. So let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be 9 or 10 up to you. Yeah, then he's trying everything he has just to win the game. 2, 2, and 2. Yeah, I should have kept Utama, but you know what? Who doesn't really matter anymore? Um. So, if I pop the blocker, let me think. Or I can just go 5s, because he has no more active anyway, so let's go 5, at least we're going to force the hand. Okay. And then I can go a couple of 7s, so let's go with another, another 7 here. I could have gravity blade that, but I'm just trying to do something different now, so you have to give me 2k, 1k. Okay, so let's pop the blocker, let's put all the dots to our leader, and let's go 13 to life, and it's going to be game anyway. I made a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake, which almost cost me the game. And I wasn't expecting another Hody Jones, and look, he had another one ready to go for the finishing. Okay, okay, it was a lucky matchup, let's go for another one. Okay, so, we are playing against Gecko Moria. Let's move in our hand, okay, look, this looks much better than before. At least we have a really good curve coming up very, very, very soon. Um, let me see, trash one card from your opponent's hand. Okay, extremely, extremely valuable. Um, let's go for to life, let's see what my opponent wants to do, and then we're gonna deploy our Doofy, and sort out the top five cards. Great, 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 so I'm a three. So let's go with like, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, we're gonna get him, and then we're gonna go with Sanji, and really, after that, Great, at least we're gonna keep board control and keep developing our board as well. Um, seven cards in our opponent hand, I wonder what he wants to play now. Because I really, really, really want to play our pudding as well, just to mess up his strategy. So, pretty much just trash the top card, let me see. Okay, looks like a good trash. And looks like my opponent's gonna use the... No, he's not using the leader's effect, so... Oh yeah, it is. Um... Yeah, you cannot kill my Doofy, however, I'm just gonna let him go like this. Because at the moment, I don't need him anymore. Um, let's go with pudding first, and then... Uh, just let's go six to life, because we already know the order anyway. Great. I wonder if I should have picked up a uh, new gate earlier on or not, but it's alright anyway, we can play with that. So, 5 to life, let's take the hit. Grab the blade, sure, let's bottom deck one of his attackers. So, 
That should be alright. Let me see if it shows me that I stand on the bottom of the deck. Absalom. Oh yeah, there you go. So it's great. Now my opponent doesn't have an attack as well, which is advantageous towards us. Okay, Borsalino, sure, sure, we take that. Um, let's use the leader's effect. I got six dawns. Let's place on the top of my deck new gate again. Let's give minus two to him. And then, then we can go like a couple of big hits. Let's go like six and six. Okay, that's one. That's two. And then we're gonna deploy Mark as a blocker. Great. Yep, we didn't manage to change the strategy one more time because my opponent received some cards, which is not gonna bring him a lot of value anyway. So, Kuzan, sure, but this card will be popped next turn anyway. Uh, 7 to 4, it's all yours, you can have that. And they're coming in. Okay, sure, no block, let's take the attack, that's great. Now, um, let's go with Newgate. Let's give one down to uh, how you call that Marco. Now, let's rest it out, let's say goodbye to your Kuzan. And let's check out, yep. So, Sanji needs to come back next turn, which is gonna give me a uh, a lot of value. So let's go 6 and then we go 7. At least we're gonna force cards from our opponent hand or we're gonna force him to give me 2 cards or take the hit again. Wow, this is to take the hit again. Sure, that's great. However, now he has to decide whether to KO by Marco, Newgate, or go for life. Okay, Hina, so it looks like my Newgate is about to get KO'd, which is fine um, because I'm gonna just chain up Sanji and Rayleigh next turn and keep out of board control after that. Okay, Rebecca, bringing my Brook, I guess. Oh, Perona. Okay, Brook, that's great. Uh, 5 to that. No, I cannot let you have that, so I'd rather give you 2k. I wanted to commit a bit more. 7 to that, hmm, you know what, no, 2 and 2, because I already committed anyway, so I'll go with that. So let's go with the Sanji and Rayleigh. Now, um, let's give minus 3 to this. Oh yeah, my opponent already disconnected. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate, because I was about to give minus 3 to Perona, minus 2 to Brook, KO Rebecca, and then attack Perona and Brook, and that's it pretty much. Okay, let's go for another matchup then. Okay, so we are playing against Luffy Rumber. Okay, so there is nothing much I can do at the moment. Oh, I forgot to use the leader's effect, but that's fine anyway. I got new gates, a few good cards to play around with. Now, my opponent decided to ramp up one down and miss it to Bonkle, plus using Trafalgar Lot to block search, grabbing Sanji blocker and going for life. Um, let's take the hit. Uh, no, I don't want to use it at the moment, that's fine. Now, how many cards my opponent has? A couple. Um, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Ooh, okay, let's go with the leader's effect, and then let's place one card at the bottom of my deck or on the top. Mm, at the bottom, maybe the gravity blade, because I'll be able to kill a few bodies later on anyway. And then, yeah, I can just go for a big hit to life. There you go. Let's go 8 to life. Now, I got the feeling I won't be able to play Gravity Blade because I already have 7 cost new gate, which is gonna pop many of his characters anyway. Now, I just left one door open for Radical Beam. In case my opponent goes 5 to life, I should be able to counter out now. Now, 8 cards in your hand. Mm. If you don't play out anything at the moment, I should be able to. 9 cards, yeah, I definitely gonna play out putting then. 8 dawn, let me see. Magellan, sure, I just gonna return 1 dawn. And now it's going big swing to life, 8 to life. Let me see. Radical plus 2k, I guess. And which one? There you go, 2k. Great. Now, as my opponent has too many cards in the hand, I just gonna play out putting, mess up his strategy. Uh, let's get one card, let's place on. The top of my deck, uh, Newgate, let's give minus 2k to Magellan, because obviously we don't want to be able to KO that anyway, so I'm gonna, we're going to go 6 to life, and hope for my opponent to not have the counters. Great. Now, Magellan is going to be kind of annoying to deal with. However, as I managed to remove most of the cards my opponent had in his hand, we should be in a really good position at the moment. Um, I'm thinking, maybe next turn, KO Magellan is not going to bring me a lot of value, whether if I KO Mr. Pubonkle, I should be good to go. Wow, okay, 9 cost Luffy coming up, ramping up, 7 cards in your hand, so there are going to be a couple of big attacks. Okay, 5 to life, let's see how to counter out. Uh, let's get rid of that. Because I'm gonna take the hit from Luffy then. Six to life. Let's take that, let's do that. Another new gate sure. We can just send it at the bottom of my deck. Yeah, I have to take this one, I've got no other option. Okay. So let's go with if I go with a new gate play, it's gonna be kinda of tricky. So I think at the moment all I have to do is to try to go for game. Otherwise next turn he's gonna run me over. Hmm. So let's try one, two, three, let's go seven to life. Let's see what he wants to do. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Therefore I just gonna use the card. In fact, let's send at the bottom of my deck one of the new gates. Let's give minus two K to Magellan, that's fine. And then we're gonna go six to life. And leave Dolphin to the field. Okay, great. Let's leave Doofy. Let's see the top five cards. Okay, that's great. Uh, I'm at seven. I'm gonna be at nine. Um, yeah, I just wanna draw up this, and I, then I can do the combo between Sanji and Newgate. And all I'm gonna need is the cost of pen after that. Okay, great. So let's end my turn. Let's see what I can do from this point onwards. Let's see if I will be able to survive actually, because there are big attacks coming up. If you play some cost Luffy as well, it's gonna be really, really problematic. Six to life. No, I just wanna give you two K. Looks like my opponent wants to play the ten cost Luffy. Yeah, there's a high chance for that. Let's give him one K. Now, ten to life. Yeah, I just wanna counter out with the blocker. I wonder if you're gonna attack with Mr. Bonkley at touching one down. And then maybe play out another 9 cost Luffy. Okay, Magellan, sure. Let's return one down. Five gonna be a 6. A 7, 8. I can play out 7 cost new gate. However, it's not gonna bring me a lot of value. Now, it's all up to my opponent if he wants to kill my shadow pudding or not. Let's see. Okay, 6 to life. Interesting. Uh, no blocker. I'm just gonna give you 2k with buggy. I could have taken the hit, but I don't wanna take the risk. And uh, no, I'm gonna keep uh, putting a life because I want to go for game now. So, how many does I got? Yeah, I need to split them out, so I'm gonna go first 8 to life. Let's see if you have the zero cost event. Ooh, my opponent gives up. Let me see. He had no more counterpower in his hand. Okay, great. We managed to win against uh, Luffy. Let's go for another matchup. Okay, so we are playing against Katakuri. So let's go with the quick search. Let's see what we can get. Um, let's place back on the top of my life area 
buggy so I can draw him next turn and just pass our turn. So whatever my opponent decides to play in from this point onwards, I should be able to KO them. Okay, Sanji, sure. Um, now I need to KO two bodies, so therefore let's go with buggy maybe. Uh, okay, great. We're gonna place him on top like this, so I can just send him back if I need to. And let's go two dawns and let's go seven to life. We also already know which cards are coming up, so there is no point for me to play around that. So let's see if my opponent wants to take that or not. I mean, you have to give me 2k1k from your hand at the moment if you want to do so. Other than that, we should be okay. Great. Now, let's see what my opponent wants to do from this point onwards. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, wow. Uh, a vanilla card as well, interesting. Uh, two to, uh, five to life. Um, let's see. No, I can just go with... Uh, actually, let's take the first hit, and the next one we can counter out with uh, just Marco then. There you go. Marco's good to go. Now, I can even do Fire Fist, killing two bodies, and play around that. So, let's do that. Let's rush uh, Gravity Blade, and let's create this and that. And now, all I have to do is just go for a big hit then. Uh, let's do one card and let's place back on top uh, pudding choose your enemy and let's go again seven to life let's see if my opponent wants to give it out or not but that's strange that katakuri plays out um, um a vanilla card and i'm i think this card is kind of pointless as well it could be that my opponent is playing only solo deck card however it makes no sense because this card is from opio 3 okay another sanji it's a very very strange deck but we should be able to play around with that now um okay another vanilla interesting and now big hit to life i guess yeah i'm just gonna take that let's see it's gonna be seven or eight to life i think yeah, 8 to life, let's take that. Of course, we can use the card action because we managed to draw a few extra cards. Now, another Sanji's be love, so you know what? Let's go with that. Okay, we've got Sanji, so. At, at, oh no, I don't want to attach all that shield on. I think this is from the new update. So, let's go with the card action. Let's place back on the top of my life area. Um, who should I put back? I'm at 7, I'm gonna be 8, 9. Hmm, it's kind of tricky. Uh, let's place back Sanji then. Uh, let's give my 2k to the blocker. And now let's go 6 to life. Let's see if my opponent wants to take it or not. Great. Unfortunately, we are not in the phase to play out pudding, but we have a really, really, really good throw. So let's start placing on top. I'm gonna be a 9, gonna draw Sanji, gonna play out new gate, and then leave it as it is. Yeah, I think it's absolutely great the way they're coming out. Actually, I might need this one, and I won't be needing Sanji to play off anymore. Let's end my turn. So next turn, it's gonna be Sanji and uh, new gate combo. After that, we can play out something else. Now, my opponent is rushing me now. He wants to go for game immediately. Okay, interesting. Shall I trash a life or trash two cards? Uh, I think I'm gonna trash two cards. I can trash pudding, and I can trash one of the new gates. Wait. Now, five to life, and five to life again. Sure, it's not gonna happen so easily then. So that's the first 5 to live, let's see. Uh, let's give you just one key counter. Okay, another 5. Let's give you 2 key counter. And if you attack with Sanji, that's fine as well. Okay, he's not gonna go for that, so let's go do that. And then we're gonna just go... Uh, before I do anything... Um, I'm thinking whether I should I trash my blocker, because it's gonna be an extra attack later on. Actually, no, because he needs to come in if he wants, if he wants to attack to me. So let's go 7 to live. Great, my opponent decides to take that. Now, next turn I can go for game as well. So he, he gotta be careful, because with my leader's effect, I can give minus uh, 2k to Sanji, attack with new gate, and trash his last life. So if he plays out uh, mom, there will be no attacks coming towards me now. Yeah, it's not gonna happen because my leader is at 7. Oh, actually. Let me see. I, I forgot that this card was a 7k body. That's fine anyway. That's fine anyway. Okay, he's trying to go for game then. Another 7, sure. There you go. Now, 1, 2, and 3 attackers. You don't have any more attackers and maybe Lin Lin, but that's fine as well. Because if you play another 6 copy mom, it's gonna be okay for me as well because I can counter it out. Okay, a blocker, sure. So, um, I need to think how to play around this one then. Ooh, double blocker, wow, okay, okay. And 5 to 5, yeah, you forgot that my body is, my leader is a 7k. So, let's go like this. Uh, let's draw one card. Let's send on the bottom of my deck, uh, the zero cost event. And let's give minus 2k to him. So, if I go to life, and then KO your blocker, you have to give me another blocker then. Okay, that's great. And now, if I go 9 again then, let me see, if I have an counter, or you have to give me give out the blocker. Interesting. Very, very really interesting. Now, uh, I just need to leave 3 on for my blocker, so let's go 1, 2, 3. And let's poke my opponent, and then I'm gonna try 7 again. Okay, that's a 2k. Okay, great, let's try 7 again. Let me see if you wanna give me a blocker or not. Okay, 7 and 8. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna play out uh, uh, Doofy, and let's leave just a 2k on top. Because I don't really need to kill anyone else. And another 2k. Okay, that's great. Let's end my turn. Now, my opponent has to go through 4 attacks. However, if he plays out Mom, okay, so touch one life. Interesting. So it's gonna be 1, 2, and 3 attacks. Let's take the first one. And the other 2 attacks they don't wanna go through. So because I got... I really need to waste a blocker, honestly, but... Mm, no, you know what? No blocker, I just gonna give you 2k, because there's no need for me to waste a blocker. And there you go, you don't have the blocker now. Okay, so you have no blocker, so it will be almost impossible for you to win. Yeah, my opponent can see, let me see, he has no more counter in his hand. Okay, great, great stuff, we managed to win again, let's go for another matchup. Okay, so we are playing against Boa Hancock. Now, our hands look alright for the time being, because it looks like a really good curve for the upcoming turn, so let's try to draw one card, and let's place on the bottom, I guess, the gravity blade for the time being, because I don't wanna need it anyway. Because later on, if I manage to draw the 7 cost new gate, you should be able to pop most of the body from my opponent's field anyway. Obviously, my opponent has runs a lot of removals as well, which is annoying, but we have to do it as well. 
So let's go for the black. Let's see if my opponent wants to give out a card from the hand. After that, I'm gonna just deploy Doofy. I'm gonna sort out the top five cards in my life area. And sorry, in my deck, not in my life area. Let's see. Okay, wait. Let's go with Doofy. Okay, look to the right. So we are three. Four, five. Mm. I won't be able to play out Marco. So let's wait for one turn. And for six, seven. Actually, six, seven, I'm gonna go like this. And then Marco later on if I need to. Uh, let's grab 2k then. Okay, so 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, and then after that we're going to play around with that. Okay, let's end our turn. And next turn I can go for double hits, so it will be 1, 5, and 1, 6k of that. If my opponent wants to play the Gravity Blade after that, Ace will be protected. Other than that, I should be alright to play around. And once again, new gate is going to be golden. Now, 4 downs, maybe my opponent is going to play out a blocker, maybe, we don't know yet. Or maybe the Jinbe and, and Weevil combo. 5 to 5, no, it's not going to happen, so it looks like Jinbe and Weevil combo is coming up. I could have taken the hit, but I don't want to take the risk for my opponent to play out uh, Black Maria. Now, my opponent should have played out Hanku first, but that's fine anyway because I just counter up with a 2k. So, okay, so we're on the top 3 cards, I think. Um, let me see, top 3 cards, yeah. Now, unfortunately, I cannot use my leader's effect in this round because I want to play out Ace. Other than that, I should be able, next from the upcoming turns, when I get new gate, I should be able to kill that anyway, extremely, extremely easily. Okay, great. So, let's go fight to life. Let's see if my opponent wants to use the blocker or not. If you use the blocker, I'm gonna attack the blocker anyway. That's fine. So let's play this, and let's attack the blocker. At least I'm gonna get a card from your hand anyway. Okay, another blocker Hanko. So my opponent is playing a lot of Hanko. I wonder if the 6 uh, six turn turning will play out the 6 cost Hanko as well. It's gonna be funny to see that actually. I deck fully build up with Hancocks. Um, now, next turn this card needs to be popped out, which is fine. And also, if my opponent decides to play out the 6 cost Hanko, I'm gonna pop that card with Newgate. So, you have to decide which card to play around now. Oh, actually, I cannot do that because I need to wait for Otama, so I, I'll be one down short. That's fine, so I can just destroy the blocker and then attack a couple of times. Mm, let's see what my opponent wants to do now. I wonder if he wants to, wants to try to uh, remove uh, Ace. If you try to do so, it's going to be challenging for you. Okay, 5 to 5, let's take the hit. Okay, we have 2k counter, which is fine. And now it's all up to my opponent, depending which card he wants to play out with or not. Yeah, you see, as I predicted, th there you go, the 6 cost Hancock. I'm sorry, but this card will be destroyed next turn. Now, first thing first, let's deploy a new gate, let's give one down to him, let's draw one card, let's send at the bottom of my deck a Marco, because my opponent can remove that easily, let's KO the blocker, and let's go 6 to life! Now, if you want to give me another 2k, that's fine, other than, one, other than that you can just draw a card from your life area and top up your hand. And next turn, I promise you, this Hanku will be KO'd, so I'm okay with that as well. Hmm, come on, next turn, hard decision. Either you have 2k in your hand, or you take a hit. Okay, great. Now, 6 cards in your hand. Obviously, pudding is not going to bring me a lot of value, because Hank prefers to say logo with the cards in the hand. Other than that, I have to say how to play around now. I wonder if my opponent wants to play another Hank, but New Gate never going to attack. At least this New Gate. Okay, Sengoku. It could be that he wants to play out uh, another Hancock and just topping the hand up. Might do that, honestly. I don't know. Yep, yeah, looks like my predictions are always correct with this leader. <laughs> That's funny. So, looks like my opponent going to play out another Hancock from the hand. But if you send back Sengoku, I don't know if you can draw another card, if you have 5 cards or more. Mm, it's gonna be cheeky. Okay, big swings, let's see, 9 to... 9 to life. Let's take that, let's see, really, wow, I can pop uh, extremely easily uh, Hancock now. Another one, you can block this one, that's fine, he's not gonna attack anyway. And then for counter, I got 20 counters, so I'm okay for the next hit. He's not gonna attack, I'm sorry, but he's not gonna attack. Now, let's think. So really can give minus 3k, okay? So she's gonna go to 5. No, 5 to 5, no. Uh, I'm gonna give you touch. Okay, let's think how to play around this one now. Because I should be able to do some uh, shenanigans. So let's go. 3 and 2. And choose the enemy, sorry. Let's rest this one out and let's kill Hanko. So that's one gone. Now, she's a 6, but I can give minus 2 more. Uh, let's draw a card. Let's see. Let's send at the bottom of my deck Marco because I'm gonna use it. Let's give 2 minus 2 more. And let's try to go 6 to 4. You have to give me 2k, 1k from your hand now. So at least 2 cards. Let's see. Okay, that's two. One more card, please. Okay, let's try again then. Six to four. If you give me two K, one K again. And if you try to protect you one more time, I'm gonna attack you with the blocker as well. Okay, that's two. And that's one. Okay, pudding. So there you go, you've been cheeky. And now I'm, I want your last card from your hand now. Oh, no more counter in your hand. Looks like uh, these two are only blanks. Or it could be like really high cards such as Tenko Skydo. Okay, so let's see. Five to life. Five to four. No. There you go. I can give you two K. So who's gonna be now? Okay, Mihawk, removing uh, my new hit, which is fair, which is absolutely fair. Honestly, that card was extremely, extremely annoying. So how do I remove Mihawk now? That's the main question, actually. 
Hmm. Okay, I got a radical beam. Let's go with buggy. Let's see which card I got. Ooh. Okay, I can draw this and leave it as this. Okay, let's draw one card. And well, let's send on the bottom of my life the zero cost of end because I'm gonna use it anyway. And let's give my two to him anyway, that's fine. And then now I have to go for a couple of big hits. One, two, three. So let's go nine to life. Okay, you have to take this one. Okay, let's go for another nine to life. I wonder if I should leave two don't open. You know what? I'm gonna leave two don't open in case I get another radical beam. Let's go eight to life. So I'm gonna get two two case from your hand. Let's see. Yeah, my opponent is deciding whether to give it out or not now. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, it's an easy choice. Either you have a zero cost event to cut to trash or two to case. Okay, two, two, okay, wow, wow. We managed to get rid of the whole hand, the whole life area my opponent decided to take. We managed to get rid of it. Now, I wonder if you have a 10 cost Kaido. If you do, you could just gonna draw three cards and I should be able to protect my board then. I've got a blocker, radical being, 6k worth of counter. Next turn, I'm getting like the big boys coming up into the field as well. Okay, big swing coming towards Hudo. Because I just want to give you a blocker now. Hmm. Okay. And seven don't left. Eight don't left. Hmm. Should I give a rad, rad beam? Yeah, I'll just gonna give you a rad beam then. There you go. Now you have to invest seven don'ts to remove only Doofy then. That's the only card you can remove. Or maybe it's a red rock and remove him really. But next turn, I should be able to attack you a couple of times as well. And I'm gonna keep board control. So what it's gonna be? It's gonna it's getting challenging now. I can even try to go for game, but it's gonna be a bit greedy. So let's see. Ace cannot be removed at the moment. Maybe you can attack a couple of times, but I got a doofy. Maybe if you remove it with gravity blade, it's gonna be cheeky. Okay. So eight, eight to eight is not gonna go through. Okay, I can just give him a blocker then. At least I'm gonna have space for uh, uh, Sanji and uh, Newgate. Jimbe 2, Weevil. Okay, I can even try to go for game now. Because I can go 9, another 9 and everything else to... Hmm, or shall I try to play out differently? Because next turn my opponent will have 1, 2 and 3 attackers. And 4 maybe. Hmm, you know what, it's, it's better to not take the risk. So let's go 9, that's gonna go for sure. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Let's go 9 again. Okay, decides to take that. Anything funny? Looks like it can be triggered now. So if they're not all two case, I should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go eleven to life. So two, four, six. Yep, my opponent had no more counter, only had tank of sky, which I predicted as well. Okay, pretty good stuff. Let's go for another matchup. However, I had uh, how you call that? Sanji and you get combo coming up very, very in the late stage of the game, but there was no point for me to risk it at all. Okay, good stuff, let's go for another match. Okay, so we are playing against Charlotte Pounding, the Rumper. Now let's wait for our opponent to sort out the hand, get a few valuable cards, and then we're gonna start to play our shenanigans. So let's go with Buggy. Um Let's return the card. I like the way they are playing around. So let's place on the bottom or top. Uh, top of my deck. Let me see. 2, 4. Yes. Ace. Just give minus 2k to him and that's it. To her. Sorry. Now. Next turn I just gonna play out Sanji Pilaf. Keep drawing cards. Having a lot of counters. Okay. 8 to life. Mm, let's take that. Use the card action of course. And then we're gonna do another Sanji Pilaf. Just to go for... Just go for... Why not? Sorry. And now let's draw one card. Let's send at the bottom of my deck. Let me see. Uh, Fire Fist. Because I know for a fact in this matchup it's not gonna bring you any value. Because my opponent wants to just ramp up extremely fast. Okay, so we know for a fact that our opponent has a 2k counter. Now there's a very, very high chance of Charlotte Pudi, Katakuri coming up. 6 to life. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen, so I just going to give you 2k. Let me see how many cards you got. 7. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking whether to play out pudding or not. You know what? Let's go with pudding. I just wanna go for sure. Now, let's draw one card. Let's see. Let's send on the top of my deck area. Let me see. Uh, Newgate, because I'm gonna play him out next turn anyway. And then let's go 6 to life. I know Charlotte Pudi is coming up, but I can just pop it extremely easily as well. That's it. And now my opponent has 4 cards in, in her hand. And next turn I can go for a couple of hits as well. Let me see, five, six, seven. Yeah, I definitely need to remove that. No, I know for a fact uh, your big mom is coming up, so I cannot take that risk at the moment. No, nope. there you go, another 2k. Seven to life, no. Um, Rad and two. I cannot take the risk with, oh, ace, sure. That's fine as well. Now, let's play our new gate. Let's give one lesson to my uh, leader. Now, let's check. Ooh, let's send on the top of my life. Let's say seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, I can just send new gate there. Let's get rid of Katakuri immediately. Now let's go 5 to 5 to Prospero. I can only leave too many bodies into the field. Let me see my manager flops. No, just uh, one key counter extra and let's go to 6 to life then. Okay, great. Now Ace is kind of valuable with my opponent, but his tandem mom is going to be really, really hard to deal with. Ooh, we got lucky. My opponent doesn't have that. 
uh, another front pair, okay, sure. And then, okay, six to four, you can have it any day, anytime. Now, nine done, I wonder if you have um, nine cost bomb. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And category, sure, and sending back my new gate. But that's fine anyway. So let's draw one card, let's send on the top of my life new gate. And choose, um, yeah, either, honestly, because they don't want to give me a lot of difference. Let's go Sanji, new gate combo. So I'm at seven, eight. Let's see if my opponent has enough counter. At least 1k. You should have it. Because I gave it to you in your hand. Like a Capone, I think, earlier on. But I just want to hand start you now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I take that. Now, 3 lives, Katakuri, and Ace. Katakuri can go for a back hit, which is fine. And another Katakuri. Okay, sure. But I cannot remove anything now. Now, if these two hit, they go through. But I know for a fact my opponent has like a couple of 2k's in, in hand. But I know Katakuri is not going to bring you any value. You're losing a lot of counters. Uh, 9 drop, I'm sure. Trashing Katakuri and sending. At, at least one card, but you cannot, maybe buggy. I'm more than happy to get a 2 kick back in my life area. So 7, no sorry, 10 to life. Ooh, it's, it's cheeky. 2 and 2, I can counter it out easily. Uh, let's go 2 and 2. And then this one I can counter out with Marco. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's go with Doofy play first. Oh, wow, okay. Um, how many of those I got left? 7. Now, let's start to play them on top. I want to play out a few shenanigans. And uh, let's draw another Doofy, and then let's go with the combo between uh, Sanji and Newgate. So, let's go like this. Let's take a card, let's send on the bottom of my deck. Uh, 5 fists, let's give minus 2k to ace, then let's go 6 to life. Actually, I should have gone a bit more, but that's fine anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. So 1, 2, 3, I'm gonna go 5 to life. Ooh, I should have kept one open for my rat beam, but that's fine anyway. I still got 3 lives, so I can just go with that. Let's play another Doofy, let's start to play them on top, and let's return the card. Mm, yeah, let's return them like this. End my turn. So I'm gonna be Doofy. Actually, uh, I'm already at 10 down, I should have played something differently. Mm, I should have kept one down active, because I knew that Sanji was coming up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine anyway. Okay, 2-2-2, two, two, two. yeah, all day long, that's all yours. Now, I wonder if my opponent wants to try to go for game or not. Okay, let's take the hit. At least I got a bit of counter. 8 to life. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Okay, 9 to life. I think, you know what, I don't mind taking that, because you can just send buggy back to my life, so let's take that. So, no buggy, sorry, do into my life area, if you wanna play in the 9 cost mom. And is, yeah, I just going to counter it out, because that's, that's gonna be crazy to don't counter out, I think, attack now. Okay, uh, let me see how many dots. Eight. Okay, you want to send back putting to life? Yeah, putting to life. So, let's try it out again. Let's go nine to life. Let me see if you have two, two Ks. That's one. That's another hit. And then I'm going to go all bananas to life then. All the dots left. One straight hit. Okay, let me see two more. Okay, let's do the math. It's going to be statistically impossible. So go one, two, three, three, six, seven. Uh, I think it's eight. Yeah, I just miscalculated. That's eight. Yeah, you don't have anything else. And then everything else left. Let's go for life. And that's going to be game 11. GG. Yep, my opponent only had like two K count auto counter. Okay, great stuff. Well done, Marco. Let's go for another matchup. Okay, so we are playing against Kaido. I got a lot of Sanji to peel off in my hand. And I really want to keep them, but there is no point. So I just want to mulligan. And my turn, I got plenty of 2k counter plus another Sanji peel off, which is going to bring me a lot of value for the following and upcoming turns. Now, I'm opponent decided to get Queen as well. That's great. Um, I think I'm going to go 5 to life. Play out Dofi. Let's see, 5 to life, you're going to take it or not. You can just give me one key counter and you win. Okay, that's fine. Let's play out Doofy. Let's start to place the card on top. So, let's see what I can get next. Let's get... Silver ready and uh, Newgate are not much for value. So, so, 3, 5, 7. Uh, now, let's keep it like this. And that should be good to go. Yeah, I think that should be good. Alright, let's end my turn. In worst case scenario, I can just use Sanji's Pilaf. Worst case scenario. Now. I cannot take the risk to go to... To 7, uh, seven cards, sorry. Because... As you can see, my opponent is playing Trafalgar Low, the blocker, which won't play, my don't minus one, he can trash two cards from my hand. So there's no point to lose all those cards, all those valuable cards actually. Now, four dons, I mean, I wonder what you want to play. Okay, five to life, mm, I really want to give you, don't want to give you ace, but you know what, you can have it, that's fine, I don't need to rush it out. Because I can play out Sanji Pilaf, grab a few extra cards here and there to play around with that. Now, there you go, as I said already, we knew that my opponent was playing some, some shenanigans. So let's roll two cards, and now, let's go with uh, Marcus Effect, let's draw a card. Um, now I'm thinking, place it on the bottom on top. Mm, let's pull it back. And let's give minus 2 to him, and let, then let's go 5 to life first, with the blocker. So at least we're going to force a card out from our opponent's hand, or the blocker from our opponent's field. Okay, great, and then let's go 6 to life. Great, so we managed to get rid of the blocker as well. Now, whatever attacks my opponent does, because I know for a fact, okay, only Gashima, even better. So he has to decide whether to ramp up, or go from a blocker. Maybe we're going to play out Black Maria now. Classic move, so I think I'm just gonna go for my blocker and flash my card for my life area then. 5 to life, um, I can take this one, I don't know how many loose he has still, but there's no point because I know he's gonna flash a card for my life now. So go ahead, use the leader's effect, there you go, as predicted, it happened. Okay, but that's fine. 
So seven down, so let's draw a card. Uh, let's send back on the top because it's gonna be seven, eight, nine. Uh, really, let's give minus two to Liberia. I just gonna need two more for my beautiful, beautiful Marco. So I'm gonna go six to life. I should have kept one on active by the side anyway. Okay, that's fine. Then we're gonna go seven, six again. Great, and then we'll leave Marco blocking into the field. At least we're gonna have another extra layer of protection. Obviously, my opponent just can uh, keep attacking extremely, extremely aggressively. However, uh, next turn, I can KO Queen actually with um, Silver Rayleigh, but I don't want to do that honestly because I want to do the combo between uh, Newgate and Rayleigh, and you see it's going to be extremely, extremely crazy to play around with that. So, what are you going to do now? 7 to life, I guess. Let's see. Uh, yeah, sure, you're going to have the blocker. I was, that's just a blocker at the end of the day, so if you want to get rid of that, that's fine, and you can trash a card from my left area then. Okay, great, that's fine. We lost the 2k, there's nothing much I can do about that. However, let's play our new gate and let's go for a big swing 7 to life. And from next turn, these two bodies will be killed, so I'm okay with that as well. Okay, great. 7, 1 more K, great. We are having our opponent as well, that's fantastic. Mm, I'm really hoping for another blocker so I can kill both blockers, honestly. Yes, absolutely great. Because next turn, both of the blockers will be killed. Then I don't care for Black Maria anymore. Okay, great. Uh, this uh, crushing uh, Kaido. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't want to use that card any anyway, so let's go 7 to life, which I can bring back Marco. But 7 to 7, I can just do 1k. Uh, like, sorry, 2k, that's fine anyway. Hmm, actually. Silver really want to just give minus 2 and 3. Hmm, so I want to kill definitely a blocker and I can kill Black Maria then. Okay, that's fine anyway. Uh, yeah, I lost my gravity blade. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine anyway. Okay, so let's go with the Marco com uh, Silver really combo. This and that, and let's kill this. Let's give 2 down to Newgate. Let's go big swing to life and let's kill Black Maria then, because it was been bringing way too much value to you, honestly. Okay, you give me the blocker, I'll take that, and then I'm going to go 5 to life then. Yeah, you have to give me another card from your hand now. Great. Now, I wonder if my opponent is still going to use his leader effect. Other than that, I go all I got is Marcos into the field, so I should be okay. Looks like my opponent is going for a quick search. I wonder if he's looking for another Black Maria. No, X ray, sure. Um, on play, down minus 1, your opponent rushes a card from his hand. That's fine. Now, if I want to remove Queen, I can do, th do that as well. I can play out Marco, I can play out Utama, give me minus 1k again. Yeah, I can do many things. Okay, so, 6 to life. No, before the attack, use the card action, let's trash. Uh, Black Manor kick Oh, I need to be white beard, so let's trash Marco and bring back Marco then. Okay, I even got a 5 fist, but I'm not gonna use it now, so let's go, let's draw a card. Let's place on the bottom of my deck 5 fist, let's give minus uh, 2k to Queen. That's part 1. Then, let's play out Utama, let's give another minus 2. Then, let's go 12 to face, and let's give it a blocker. Great. Then all I need is just one down active, so I can go 9. Hmm, I'm, I wonder if I should leave 2 down active or not. You know what, let's leave 2 down active just to have an extra layer of safety in case this one is another radical beam. In case. And 9, come on, you must have like 2 2Ks and 1 1K from your, from your hand. Um, let me see, 7, okay, that's fine. I'm picking up 1 down, which means there could be an opportunity for the 10 cost to come into the field. However, yeah, that's fine, which means I, I'm just winning the game now. Um, let me see. Use the card action, let's trash Marco and let's bring back the blocker. Now, if my opponent wants to attack that, I do have the counter. No, there you go. I got uh, Radical Beam ready to go. And now we need to survive two 10k attacks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, yeah, he realized that as well. GG, buddy, my friend. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go all in then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's it. 15. I don't think you have enough counter, so that's it pretty much. Okay, let's go for another matchup. Okay, looks like our opponent wanted to go for a rematch. I think along with Gandhi's hand. Okay, a couple of Sanji spill off. Um, uh, how do you say it? Adofi as well. So, let's use the leader's effect. Let's see. Okay, let's place on the bottom one of the... I got the Sanji Spilaf, and let's end our turn. At least we managed to clean up our hand a bit. On top of that, I got Gravity Blade Raging Tiger, which can get rid of two Queens. Extremely, extremely valuable. I got the 7-cost Newgate, which can bring me a lot of value as well. I can do many, many things for later on in the game. Uh, let's see the first seed, let's see what we get. Another Newgate, okay, I can clean up my hand again. Um, let's go with Dofi first. Let's start to place the card. Wow, beautiful curve. So, I can do the Sanji and Newgate combo. Then, after that, I can bring back Freely. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Oh, hold on, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful combo coming up. Okay, great. And then, actually, I can do the leader's effect. Okay. Uh, let's draw one card. And let's place on the bottom Newgate. And choose your enemies. And let's go like this. Six to life. Yeah, I messed it up a bit. I forgot that I could have used the leader's effect as well. But that's fine. Because I can do the combo anyway later on if I want to with Sanji. Whatever I play out with Sanji should be fine anyway. Because there is, uh, after Sanji, there is Newgate immediately. Okay. Uh, Shallow Pudding. So if you lose the Dawn and Black Maria. Wow, you want to go extremely aggressive towards my lives then. Seven down. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't let you have any hits so easily then. There you go, that's one. And then, down minus seven, you can just kill, just crash around my life area. It was a five fist. Oh, that's annoying, but that's fine. But you don't have any more down. Oh yeah, you do now. Thanks for Black Maria. Wow, that's kind of annoying to deal with. Okay, so what I can do is five fist then. And let's trash gravity blade and let's kill these two bodies. And then, let's go like this. Let's throw one card. Let's start to place on 
top um let me see i don't need it because i can have it next turn grass fine and then i can go five couple of six and six and six there you go six ones and let's see okay that's fine let me see which card you're getting then hmm. and queen sure so that's not okay for your side then i'm gonna go six for life then let's see what if you want to take that but yes sure sure Looks like my opponent has realized that I can remove this body extremely easily, so he's trying to play something around that. Okay, down minus one, drawing two cards, trashing one, let me see which card you want to trash though. Now you have five down left, okay, I'm gonna trash one, that's perfect. I will go ahead and redo that as well. Six to life, I guess. Ah, six to four, yeah, you can have my blocker. I, I think my opponent just got annoyed from my, um, from my card. Now, first thing first, let's go like this. Let's deploy that. Choose Marco. Let's draw one card. Uh, let's place on top, um, Sanji, I'm gonna draw him back next turn because I'm on eight, okay. Sanji, and let's give minus two K to him. Let's pop the blocker, and then, yeah, as I don't have any radical beam or anything to play around with, let's go 7 to life then. And next turn is gonna be bananas, so you better be ready to counter me out, other than that it's gonna be really really tough for you. Hmm. Okay, one blocker, which will be popped immediately from my new gate. And then what are we gonna do? I need to be careful how many hits I take from my opponent, wow, okay. So it's gonna be 9 or 10, no, it's not gonna happen, so it's illegal, I can just give it 2k. I would have never done that. So now it's time to go bananas, so let's draw one card, let's place on top of my deck, uh, Newgate, and now look at this, let's give Sanji to Newgate, and now I can rest him, say goodbye to your blocker, and I'm gonna go 8 to life, and you need to have a lot of counters now, like 2 to case, and next turn I'm gonna go for game, 2, and 2 more please, great great stuff, now you need to commit a lot of dons as well to attack me, I have tricky counter, which is not allowed, but that's fine anyway, okay, Kaido's well, that's fine, so there are no attacks coming up towards me then, nope, I'm sorry for that, that's fine anyway, so, what can I do now? Ace is fine. I think I have to go with the Sanji Pilaf because there's no point for me to play out. Uh, how you call that? Uh, really? Okay, I got blockers, so I can play out. So it's gonna cost me only four. Let's try to do one card, and let's place on the top of my deck. Silver Lady. Then let's give minus two K to him, uh, and then one Marco is gonna cost me only two. So let's go seven to life. Or eight to life. Sorry. Okay, great. Let's play out Marco and let's pass our turn. Now, if my opponent wants to go for game, he has to play something around that. I should have kept one don't active as well for my radical beam, but that's fine anyway. I, I got a plenty of counter to counter up Kaido. At least this Kaido's attack. Obviously, this one gonna go through. Okay, let's see what else we're gonna do. Okay, 7 to life, I guess. Then I'm gonna counter it out immediately. And that one. Actually, that one I don't even have to take. So let's go 2k and 1k. This one I can just trash Jozu maybe. Or let's see. Let's take that. Let's see what we can get. Okay, I block it. That's fine. Now, let's go silver ready, let's give minus 3, minus 2, let's kill this, let's leave one on active, uh, let's draw a card, let's place on the top of my deck, um, ace, let's give minus 2k, that's fine anyway, I'm not gonna attack him anyway, that's fine, let's go 6 to life, so at least I don't get 2k, 1k, okay, it's a really really bad situation for my opponent as well now, obviously, this big hit, I need to find a way to counter it out, it's gonna be 10k swing, and the other one I can just play around with that, I wonder if my opponent has an anchor spell as well, yeah, that's annoying, so that, okay, I can counter out one hit, um, let's try to bring him back, but he needs to be... No, there's no need to bring him back. Either my opponent wins now, or he'll be in trouble. So 5 to 5, no, that's one key counter. So 2 to K, two 10 keys, I, I should have enough counter. So that's 1, 10, and 2, great, and that's one I have to take. However, next turn, I'm going for game 10. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Mm, I didn't know that it was my uh, opponent last card. So if I go 9, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 9. 2 more, 11. Let's divide them, and let's go like this. So 12 and 11. Okay, and let's see. 11, I wonder if you have enough counter, okay, that's 8, 9, hmm, tricky, 2, and wow, we got lucky, because we didn't manage, we managed to win again, my opponent had no more counter power.